Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ninja Knight. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I've dropped my Patreon link down below. Thank you. So remember when Lucasfilm decided to brand fans, hardcore fans, and also paying customers with things like ist and phobe. And this was the rhetoric that was coming out of Lucasfilm and people that they had hired subsequently after The Last Jedi disaster. People already seen the writing on the wall in The Force Awakens. But it wasn't until people saw The Last Jedi that people really woke up to what was happening with the Star Wars sequels from Disney. Now we have a new sort of interview from Josh Gad with Daisy Ridley. And I have to say, Daisy Ridley comes across really well in any interview that I see. And I feel quite sorry for her that she's not had much work since the Star Wars trilogy. I believe that she seems like a nice individual and I wish her all the best in the future. It's just unfortunate that her character was written so poorly that it seems like the work has drawn, dried up. So let's take a look at this. You Have you been keeping Ray's secret from the beginning? Did you know about the parentage? Like, uh, Tell me about that, that journey of when you found out. No. At the beginning, there was toying with like an Obi Wan connection, and then um, it really went. There were like different versions, and then it really went to that she was no one. And then it came to episode nine, and JJ pitched me the film and was like, "Oh yeah, Palpatine's granddaddy," and I was like, "Awesome!" And then two weeks later, he was like, "Oh, we're not sure." So it kept changing. So then, even I was filming, and I wasn't sure what the answer was going to be. This is incredible stuff and it really goes to show the state of Lucasfilm and the individuals that were hired to deal with it. These people have absolutely no clue with what they're doing. You see there that she was originally supposed to be a Kenobi. Not happening. Then she becomes a nobody. Not happening. Then it's back to being a Palpatine. Okay, great. But we're out two weeks out and then they still don't know the heritage. It's absolutely incredible stuff and it goes to show the dire straits and the mess that Kathleen Kennedy, J.J. Abrams and Rian Johnson have all created with this absolute nonsense. I am Ninja Knight. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share the video. I'm going to leave it there. Subscribe to the channel. Good luck.